Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor at Wiseant, and uh, I'm answering this question submitted by a student. Uh, this is a fairly easy question if you know your rules about circles. Uh, I'm going to just solve the question very quickly, and then we're going to just talk a little bit about circles just to give a little bit more uh, background information and, and give you a sense of where your course is going. So this is called a tangent tangent. You can see we have an external point here, point A, and uh, it's uh, from that point these two lines are extended and they touch the circle at a single point, uh, point B and point C. And it turns out that these two uh, line segments AC and AB are congruent with each other and so to solve this we just set this up 3y plus 4 equals 11y and then 4 is equal to 8y so y is a half and the question is asking for AB so AB is going to is equal to 3y plus 4 so that's 3 times a half plus 4. So AB is equal to 5 and a half. Sorry, I don't know why I wrote that. 5 and a half. 5 and a half. So that's her answer. So you're going to be learning other situations. So here's a here's a tangent and here's a secant. So that's called a tangent secant. There's another situation, secant, secant. You have two secants like that. And these are all situations where you have an external point. And you'll learn the rules for all these. You should learn all these rules and memorize them. Okay, I'm going to just take a minute and do the proof for this one. Sometimes you just don't remember, or you're not sure, you think you remembered, you're not confident that you remembered correctly. And if you just remember how to prove these things, it can help a lot. So let's let's start with um, the radii here. Now we know in any circle the radii are congruent, so those are congruent with each other. Now another thing you're supposed to have learned is that a, ra <clears throat> a radius, when drawn to the point of tangency, makes a right angle at that point. So we do have two right angles. So now we're going to draw this line out here. Oops, that was badly done. Let's start out here and draw this line over to the center. And now we have a common a common leg that they sh share. I'm sorry, a common hypotenuse that they share. And these two right triangles are congruent because of HL. So you have a hypotenuse that's congruent and one of the legs are congruent. And this HL works only for right triangles. All we have to do is find a hypotenuse in the leg. Uh, and uh, that's all we need. You can think of another version of the proof as Pythagorean theorem. So uh, that squared minus that squared will equal AC squared and so you can prove this through Pythagorean theorem any way you want to think about it but just make sure that you understand these two things also because sometimes in a problem uh, the fact that these are right angles becomes extremely important so that's it for this problem it's fairly quick if you remember these things about your circles and make sure that you uh, pick up these as well and I would suggest making some flashcards and 
try to keep these straight in your head. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.